No answer. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. There is now. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Call the cops. Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. He's a God-fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I'd come to Earth to persecute him. Real twisted. Nathaniel Williams is our prime suspect. He's already been questioned, and he lives in the exact geoprofiling zone. Well, no warrant, no problem for Blake. He thinks his badge entitles him to do whatever he wants. stifling in here. Those windows haven't been opened in years. All the signs of a mystical obsessive neurosis compounded by a persecution complex. You don't have to be a profiler to see he's not a killer. We're wasting our time here. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Why all the crucifixes? Are you afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? He needs more and more. No. No. 
You mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. He told you to go and find that kid in the park. The voices tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Stop! Stop! That's enough! So you obeyed them to make them stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned him. Isn't that right? Blake, what no! are you doing? Stop! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, Nathaniel. I shall watch you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy Shoot, us. For Christ's sakes, Shoot! Drop the gun! Now! Concentrate on my voice, Nathaniel. Listen only to my voice. Team, you shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power! I'm here to help you, Nathaniel. To get rid of the voices in your head, but you have to trust me. Christ all powerful. Defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire. And may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. Lieutenant Blake is going to leave our planet right now and return to the what? realm of shadows. Creature of darkness, I do beseech you to return to the realm of shadows and leave our Nathaniel in peace! Back away, slowly. Now drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. Put your hands on your head. Turn around. Motherfucker! In the name of the Lord, I exorcise thee, Satan. Okay, freak, the show's over. You're under arrest. Pretty damn cool under the circumstances. I would have just shot him. A gun isn't the answer to every problem, Blake. Maybe not, but most of the time it helps.